reaction depends on concentration for this rate law we also call it as rate expression or rate equation see what is this rate law is the expression in which reaction rate is given in terms of molar concentration of reactants with each term is raised to some power which may or may not be same as the stoichiometric coefficient of the reacting species in a balanced equation so much big definition understand through a general reaction consider a general reaction that is a moles of a and b moles of b reacts to give you c moles of c and d moles of d for this reaction rate is directly proportional to concentration of a to the power x into concentration of b to the power y if you remove this proportionality uh, proportionality you have to put uh, some constant that is k here this k is called rate constant i will explain this end of the video so rate equal to k into concentration of a to the power x into concentration of b to the power y see this is the rate law this is experimentally determined equation by looking at uh, this reaction you cannot write this one see now through this equation let's understand this that definition see rate law is the expression see this is the expression in which reaction rate uh, reaction rate see reaction rate is given in terms of molar concentration of the reactant see concentration of reactant a into concentration of reactant b this concentration should be in molar molar molarity concentration should be expressed in molarity so molar concentration of reactants a and b in this general reaction molar concentration of reactant with each term is raised to some power see this term is also raised to some power that is x and this term also raised to power y so each term raised to some power power x and y here which may or may not be same as stoichiometric coefficient of the reacting species in a balanced equation this raised power x and y see this raised power x may or may not be equal to stoichiometric coefficient of the reacting species in balanced equation stoichiometric coefficient means this a For stoichiometric coefficient of reactant a is a and stoichiometric coefficient of reactant b is b like this like this for uh, this the, these two also see these raised power this uh, raised power x may or may not be equal to a and this y is may or may not be equal to b that's the mean see once again see the definition rate law is the expression in which reaction rate reaction rate is given in terms of molar concentration of reactants with each term raised to some powers which may or may not be equal to stoichiometric coefficient of the reacting species stoichiometric coefficient of the reacting species in a balanced equation this is the definition of rate law see let's understand more clearly through examples see take an example that is 2NO plus O2 gives 2NO2 this is the balanced equation see for this reaction we can write experimentally determine the rate equation as rate equal to k into k is rate constant k into concentration of reactant no to the power 2 into concentration of reactant o2 to the power 1 this is experimentally determined powers are experimentally determined see for this uh, equation rate law see 
red law is this is expression rate is expressed in terms of reactants molar concentration of reactants with uh, each term is raised to some power this this term is raised to power 2 then this term is raised to power 1 but in this case see its stoichiometric coefficient is 2 and this raised power is also 2 see this stoichiometric coefficient is 1 its raised power is also 1 see in this case this raised powers and stoichiometric coefficients are equal I have to, it, it, statement, rate law statement is saying may or may not be same in this case they are same let's see one more see now in this equation that is decomposition of ammonia into N2 nitrogen and hydrogen that is 2 NH3 gives N2 plus 3 H2 this is balanced equation see balanced equation for this reaction we can write rate less as rate equal to K into concentration of NH3 to the power 0 this is experimentally determined equation you, you cannot uh, write by looking at the uh, reaction uh, see here in this also this is rate ex this is rate expression rate can be given in in terms of concentration of the reactant that is ns3 and it is raised to power 0 see in this case this raised power is 0 in the here raised power is 2 so in this case the stoichiometric coefficient and this raised power is not same example 3 see CHCl3 plus Cl2 gives CCl4 plus HCl. For this reaction, we can write rate expression as rate equal to K into concentration of CHCl3 to the power 1 into concentration of reactant Cl to the power 1 by 2. In this case, raised power is for CHCl3 is same, but raised power for Cl2 is half and uh, coefficient psychometric coefficient of cl2 is 1 so it is different see one more thing rate loss will always be with reactants only not with products not with products only with reactants only that is concentration of reactants only so rate law is experimentally determined equation you cannot predict merely looking at the balance equation watch next video i have explained this it's more meaning of this rate law thank you subscribe to my channel to get more videos like the video share the video and spread worldwide to help others